Hi, my name is Nick Molina, and I'm going to show you vPro's Wake Up and Patch software tool. Now you're going to start off by opening up the Alteris console and waiting for it's loaded completely to manage tasks and then click the create task or job option under the actions bar. From there you're going to want to select the server job under the jobs folder. Now that you have your new job you're going to probably want to rename it. In this case I'm going to rename it wake up and patch software. From here you're going to add a new task by simply adding new task. The first task you're going to want to do is a power management task which is found under the real-time console infrastructure and that's basically to power it on, power on the client computer. So I'm going to rename it power on first step. Select power on and then make sure the only thing selected under technologies is Intel Active Management Technology or Intel AMT. Once you've done that you should see it the task under the jobs the, your, the new job you're making and now it's time to make another task which is going to be the script as you can see under the client task folder. When you select a script you can add whatever type of coding you want. I know there's command script, javascript I'm going to rename it to start. I'm going to rename it demo patch. Put a sample or demo patch into the script. As you can see, there's the command script, BB script, JavaScript. All right, now that the script is done, we can move on to our last task, which will be to restore the state of power. That, were, what, that the client was previously in before we initialized our wake up patch software tool. And for this one you're going to select restore state and make sure the only thing selected on their technologies is the Windows instrumentation. Now that you have all three of your tasks ready and good to go, you're going to have to change the task inputs. And to do this you're just going to select each task individual task input now. And for each of the three options, you're going to make sure that they're selected as prompt at runtime. For the script, or in my case, run demo patch, you can leave that uh, simply as prompt me for task input each time this job is run. Last but not least, um, the restore state one which I did not rename for whatever reason. Um, it, to me it shows up as one power management task. You're going to want to enter task input now and then for power state use output from a previous task. For connections credential prompt at a runtime and for resources use output from a previous task. Now that you're done with that you're ready to actually run the software. Um, when you press OK you'll be um, put into this screen and you can definitely run just straight off the screen but I'm going to close it for a sec and show you how to get to it as if you already made the task before or job before. Um, you're going to have to go back to manage and then tasks and then you're going to go to the task and job folder. Scroll down a little bit and then select server tasks and then the whatever job you want to run in this case will be the wake up and patch software and then you're going to want to select the computer and just basically select whatever clients you want to run this job on and then you're going to time and in the runtime all you have to do is make sure that there's a green check by the U cell and then you'll be good to go Press OK, and then press Run Now. As you can see, of the job itself and how it's running, 
as you'll be able to see, um, it's running the power on part or the power on task of the job. And once it goes through all three steps, you will have completed the wake up and patch software tool of vPro AMT technology. Thanks for the time.